Hey there, welcome back to How to Medicate and welcome to this new video on how to use ethanol estradiol drospirinone, which is an oral combined contraceptive pill. This video is part of a video series on sexual problems and for those of you who want to keep on learning, check out the playlist in the description. I will also quickly introduce myself. My name is Raoul. I'm a medical doctor from the Netherlands and I'm making weekly medical videos to educate myself as well as you, my viewer, because I believe that medically educated people make healthier decisions, which is the whole point of this channel. And lastly, before we start, a quick disclaimer. This video is meant purely informative. This is not medical advice. And if you're looking for medical advice, always contact your doctor. And we start now. The generic name of this medication is ethanol estradiol drospirinone, but it's sold under several brand names like Jasmine, Jazz, Rosol, and Daylit. And it's available as a tablet. For those of you who want to use this tablet, make sure to swallow it completely with half a glass of water, do not chew on it and do not break on it. It's important to take this tablet for 21 days at a fixed time, after which follows a pause of seven days where you take no tablets at all. During this pause, you might experience a period like bleeding. And for those of you who want to start using this pill, it's advised to do so on the first day of your menstruation. And if you want to start at any other day, then please discuss this with your doctor. Most likely, you need to take additional precautions, like the use of condoms, the first seven days of use. And do you experience severe diarrhea or extreme vomiting within four hours after taking one of the tablets? Then it is important you take a new one as soon as your intestines and your stomach calm down. And also make sure to contact your doctor to check if additional precautions are needed. Now, as previously mentioned, Jasmine is an oral contraceptive method which contains hormones, progestogen and estrogen. These give it its function as oral contraceptive, preventing ovulation and making it harder for sperm to penetrate your womb. Normally I would discuss the correct dosages here, but we already did so. Make sure to take one tablet a day at a fixed time for 21 days, after which follows a pause of seven days. And if you forget to take a pill, then always contact your doctor. Depending on the week in which you have forgotten to take it, additional measures should be taken, like the use of condoms in the following week. Now, Jasmine is a very effective drug, but unfortunately, it can have some side effects. I will discuss the most common ones here, but if you're looking for a complete list, then check your leaflet or ask your prescribing doctor. Commonly, so 1% to 10% of all patients might experience a depressed mood, a headache, nausea, breakthrough bleeding, breast pain, or vaginal discharge. And uncommonly, patients might experience a depression, nervousness, dizziness, a high blood pressure, changes in your libido, and increased sweating. Now, considering safety, jasmine can be combined with any type of food. You can drive safely while using jasmine, and it can be even combined with alcohol in moderation, of course. What is important to know is that jasmine can have some interactions with other drugs, therefore always discuss this with your prescribing doctor. As always, we end off these videos by taking a look of the safety of this drug, Jasmine, while pregnant or while breastfeeding. First of all, if you want to become pregnant, you should stop using a combined contraceptive pill. However, if you accidentally use it once while you're pregnant, there seems to be no adverse effects for your unborn baby. Regarding lactation, its use is not recommended during the first six weeks after delivery, but after that, this medication can probably be used safely. However, just to be sure, always discuss this with your prescribing doctor. Now, I hope you now know how to use Jasmine, but if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. And for those of you who want to keep on learning, want to keep on educating yourself, please check out the playlist in the description, as this might help you enormously. Furthermore, I want to thank my sponsors on Patreon. Thank you, Sebastian, who is an investor to supporter, and thank all of you for watching my videos. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like. This will help out the channel tremendously, and consider subscribing. I'm trying to reach 20,000 subscribers and you could help me amazingly. In addition, I recently started a new Instagram account. Please follow me at How to Medicate. And as always, I will see you next week with a new video. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.